Twisted Beast, the RMC conversion that literally every single Wonderland fanboy has been waiting for forever. This could easily turn one of our worst coasters to our most elite, modern, and best coaster. So right now, this thing straight up sucks. It has a decent, well thought out layout, it's just not executed well. There are countless terrible moments, bangy airtime hills, that you do get some decent airtime on sometimes, and countless pointless turns. This No Limits 2 creation was made by Amusement Insider on YouTube, and it shows just a smidge of what the potential layout could be, but this is not nearly what this coaster could look like at its full potential. So as you can see, this is the plot of land taken up by Wildebeest. Right next to it is Speed City Raceway, which, to be honest, no one ever goes to and is a pretty big waste of space. It's an upcharge, so I don't think it's worth it. And right on the other side is the massive plot of land that Dinosaurs Alive used to sit in. It is an absolutely huge space that could be used to make this coaster really long and wind through a bunch of trees. Here is an awesome No Limits 2 creation created by Noah Roth on YouTube. It has a max height of 162 feet, it is 4,076 feet long, and has a max vertical angle of 82 degrees. So let's head down that monster first drop right here. 82 degree descent and then straight up into a goliath style stall and head back down into this really really cool turn around looks awesome wave turn out of it some more turns around here transitions massive ejector airtime hill really good wave turn looks awesome head up into a nice sort of corkscrew into a turn Sort of out, 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 outward axis airtime hill. And some nice turns. Really smooth. To a nice zero G corkscrew sort of inversion. Another airtime hill. Airtime hill. Turn around. Some nice overbanks. Wave turn. One final airtime hill right into the break. Room. This looks like an awesome coaster. That is like the definition of perfect. So I really hope we can get something like that. So now let's look at this POV. It's a little bit different, created by Amusement Insider, and it just uses the same layout as Wildebeest right now, with the added RMC elements, of course. So we start out with some of our classic RMC bunny hills, then head up our 92 foot lift hill into our 85 degree drop. So we head down and right up back up into our first element was sort of like a twist stall thing. Then an airtime hill, then we have sort of a wave turn here. Then an outward axis airtime hill, cool. Straight ejector hill, looks really good. Some more airtime moments here. Then a big turn around, sort of into a wave turn. Then we come up right here, another airtime hill into a monster wave turn which looks phenomenal. We head up into another wave turn, which also looks great. Other outward axis airtime hill. Some more turnarounds. The corkscrew zero G roll type element. Another big airtime hill. And just a few more airtime hill after airtime hill after airtime hill. Right up into the final break run. So overall, this looks like a pretty awesome coaster. Remember, this is just using the space that Wildebeest already took up. So here's a little side-by-side -side comparison on what RMC Wildebeest vs. Original Wildebeest could be.
Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you see, please consider subscribing and turning on those post notifications. Check me out on Instagram at Coaster Addicts as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one.